Nvidia's super graphics cards, the kind of mid-generation upgrades have always been weird, and they're doing it again with the 50 series, because we're not just getting a 5070 Super, we're not just getting a 5070 Ti Super, but we're also getting a 5080 Super, making a lineup even more crowded than it already was, and really making things confusing. Take the 5070 Super for example, which is going to have more cores than the 5070, but not as much as the 5070 Ti, but it's getting an upgraded to 18GB of VRAM, which is actually more than that next step up card. Then there's the 5070 Ti, which isn't getting an increase in CUDA cores, but it's getting upgraded to a whopping 24 gigs of GDDR7 memory. And in fact, it has the same amount of memory as the brand new 5080 Super, which also isn't getting a CUDA core increase. So you see what I mean now when I say that it's getting so much more difficult to get a clearer picture of what kind of performance we should be expecting from each card. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that the Super cards always do, but at the same time, they do always offer a bit more of a choice. Now, granted, we pretty much don't know anything else about when these could be coming, Given how we now have both CES and Computex out of the way this year, odds are that NVIDIA will just do some smaller presentation in probably a month or two's time, going a bit further in depth about what these are going to be like. And unlike with some of the more budget cards, which are too ashamed to even send out to reviewers, odds are these are going to be getting a bit more of a proper new cycle and they're not going to just be tossed under the rug as if they never existed, unlike with stuff like the 5060 and 5050. And with both AMD being kind of quiet about any upcoming graphics cards and Intel also not really releasing too much to follow up on the huge success of the initial Battle Mage launch, it looks like Jensen and the gang won't even have too much competition when these things launch. So hopefully by then something, anything will pop up so that Nvidia will at least try to price these things at least a bit more competitively. So knowing them, they probably won't. But what do you think about these cards? Are you even excited for them? And what are your thoughts about this super lineup in general? Or let me know down in the comments below. And maybe check out our Patreon as well, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Bartosz Volker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.